Hey, I kind of wanted to show you guys a little new project I'm working on. Um, it's a humanoid, humanoid robot. Um, so th this is what I want to do is basically have it learn how to basically stand up by itself from, I guess, the laying down position. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna take a little while to get this thing going, but I kind of want to show you guys uh, what I've kind of done so far. And okay, so got some parts. Uh, let's see, what do we got? We got the 16 channel servo driver. We have the gyroscope and accelerometer. That's a little better picture. And we got the servo motors. So, servo motors basically came with a little accessory kit, which is kind of nice. Which gives you all sorts of mounting options. Yeah. Alright, so these little pieces basically just go onto the servo motor here. And then you can probably just, you know, screw in using one of these screws or something to another fixture. So that's later. The servo motors will connect to this thing I bought from Adafruit servo driver. As you can see, it comes in pieces, so I'm going to need to solder these things on. And same thing with this. So. Still need a little bit of work to do, so that's what I'm going to do next. So the parts do require a little bit of soldering work. Um, it comes unsoldered, so you have to do a little bit of soldering here, which I'll kind of just gently show you. And like that, we are done. The servo driver is ready to go. Okay, so I put together the prototype, uh, basically just two two brackets I made uh, with aluminum bars. Um, this side I messed up a little bit, screws and holes didn't line up. This is the first side, I did a much better job, I got the you know two bolts for each hole. And surprisingly it's pretty rigid, so you see, it's pretty, it's not going to wiggle. So I think this really simple design is going to work just for creating the... Um, the joints with the um, two different axes and maybe three axes. Here I made some more brackets. What I'm going to do after making the hip, so this is kind of the hip unit here, and it actually kind of goes like this. And then what I'm going to do is try to put uh, match it up with a shoulder piece on the top with more brackets going up here, and then it's going to put some sort of a another bracket it's going to join up to the top and that kind of creates like a spine I was originally going to put another one of these in the middle so that he can kind of kind of bend down but now I'm kind of thinking well maybe I'll keep it rigid for now and if he's the robot has trouble getting up still maybe that's when I'll just splice it and um, give him more of a rotational for that one uh, the knee joint here and I connect it to the foot joint so I'm hoping I'm gonna do a lot of trial and error with this but I'm hoping that this will be enough height length between the uh, the foot to the knee and then afterwards I gotta do the rest of the uh, the leg here into the hip so and of course um, this thing's gonna need some sort of footing um, but just for simplistic stakes I decided just to attach a um, little piece of piece of board, um, piece of wood on there on the bottom, and that kind of acts as the foot. Um, so next steps was basically now I gotta figure out how to uh, train this thing under um, machine learning. Um, thinking about doing some stuff like in in Unity or something like that, do some offline training so that this thing doesn't try to break itself or take forever as um, that I would have to physically reset it. But in in the virtual environment. Um, Unity has a little bit of advantage of just letting it automatically reset and just continually work and it can be thousands and thousands of times of savings on this one. So hope you guys look forward to the next next videos. Thanks.